A couple of people recently have asked me about bearings and how to draw them. So I'm going to, I've made a little video about how to do that. What you're going to need is a protractor for measuring angles. Now, when they talk about bearings, you always talk about bearings being from a point. So your question might be about an aeroplane flying on a bearing of 50 degrees from the airport or a man walking on a bearing of 120 degrees from his tent. Whatever the context is, bearings are always measured from a point. So first of all, you need to just choose a place on your paper to mark that point. Leave plenty of space around it. And then from that point, we're just going to draw the north line. OK, so that's a line straight up your paper from that point. That is your north line. Now, as you know, bearings are always measured clockwise from your north line. So they're always measured from here around in that direction. The first uh, one we're going to draw is a bearing of 90 degrees. OK, so to do that, you need to line up your protractor. We want to put the center of the protractor on that point that you're measuring your bearing from. And we need to line it up so that the zero line here is on the <clears throat> on the north line. So we're looking for 90 degrees around the protractor, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 70, 80, 90. We can mark the weak point there. And we're just drawing a line out to there. So our bearing for a plane setting out from this airport, traveling on a, a, a bearing of 90 degrees, it's going along this line. And we mark bearings. Normally we use three figures for bearings, so we put 0, 90 degrees. So it's really just like measuring angles. The important thing is that it's always clockwise from this north line. Okay, now for bigger bearings, this sometimes catches people out a little bit. Let's see if we can do a bearing, draw a bearing of 225 degrees. Now look at your protractor. That does not go up to 225 degrees. So there are a couple of ways we can tackle it. Let's start off again by drawing our point. So all your bearings will be measured from that point. We'll draw the north line. OK, now 225 degrees. We can't measure that directly with the protractor. But what we can do is we can extend this line down a wee bit. OK, so we just imagine we can maybe put a dotted one or a faint one. We know that it's 180 degrees from there around to there. OK, that's 180 degrees. So we can go, well, we've got 180 round to there. We need another 45 degrees, don't we, to get round to the bearing we actually want. We want 180 degrees plus 45 degrees to get us to our 225 degrees. Okay, so what we want to do really is measure 45 degrees from this line up to where we want to be. So again, we'll get the protractor the right way round. Line your centre of the protractor up with the point. This time we're measuring, we're lining it up here. Obviously, it's also lined up there. We're going to measure 45 degrees around. Oh, you can't see. 45 degrees around from here. Make sure you're using this scale on the protractor, the one that starts at zero all the way up to 45, mark our line there. So you join the original point where you're measuring from down to that. And that is the bearing. So uh, uh, something, a plane setting out from the airport here will be traveling on a bearing of 225 degrees. We can mark that, oops, we can mark that on there. <laughs> if we get the pencil to work, mark that on there as a bearing of 225 degrees. OK, I'll scribble that in. OK, there is another way to do that. Um, so you can either say, well, we know that's 180. How much more do I have to add on to get to get round to 225? There is an alternative way of doing that. And that is select your point. Always that's the first thing. That's where your bearing is being measured from. Mark your north line. Now, you know that in a whole revolution, so right round from here all the way right round to here again, would be 
360 degrees. That's a full, a full circle. So you could say, well, hmm, we want 225 degrees. So it's going to be, I don't know, over here somewhere. This angle is going to be 360 degrees minus 225 degrees, isn't it? Which is 135 degrees. So you could measure, line yourself up here, you could measure 135 degrees around that weight. Now make sure you're using the inside scale on the protractor because we want to make sure we go from 0, 10, 20, 30 all the way up to 135. Okay, so that is the bearing that you're looking for. Now we measured the angle around that way. That was the angle that we don't want. Our bearing is still measured clockwise from north. Still measured that way. And it's still 225 degrees. We just took a little bit of a, a different approach to it. And instead of measuring the angle that we wanted, we measured the bit that we don't want. Okay, So you can see, actually, that gives us the same diagram as that. It's just a different way of thinking about it. So use whichever one you find easiest. Okay, It's kind of an extra step in this one, but it might be easier to understand what you're doing. OK, I think that is it as to how to draw uh, bearings, simple bearings. What we'll do next is do a question about drawing a scale drawing. So in addition to the direction, we'll do distances and that will help you answer a lot of questions that you might be asked.